let's talk about the fiscal year you go to setup upper right hand corner in Salesforce type fiscal year we are trying to set fiscal year so uh, when you configure Salesforce this is out of the box standard fiscal year you can change it fiscal year information your organization can change the fiscal year start month and specify whether the fiscal year name is set to starting or ending year for example if your fiscal year starts in january 22 and ends in march 23 your fiscal year setting can be either 22 or 23 so this is standard fiscal year so you can change it uh, ending month this is a custom uh, you have to customize the fiscal year like uh, uh, enable the custom fiscal years you can define a custom fiscal years that match your company's financial planning requirements salesforce provide flexible template that can you customize to meet your needs such as template or a fiscal year that has four equal quarters each with four four five structure or two four week month or four week month you know your fiscal year changes so um you have very uh, kind of a somewhat complex fiscal year you can use a customized or the standard fiscal year or if you um, most of the people using uh, standard fiscal year you know the starting month starting month uh, can be changed also the ending month if you have to click here you have to enable custom fiscal years here if you want to um, enable here enable um, enabling custom uh, fiscal years cannot be undone it has an impact on forecasting reports and quotes please make sure you have reviewed the list of consideration when enabling custom fiscal years if you are prepared to maintain your own custom fiscal years and you are aware of the impact of your organization click ok otherwise click cancel this is a uh, demo and this is a uh, developer work so i'll click and go ahead you know you are, there are some ramification it can be reversed you know once you enable the custom fiscal year let's go because the browser setting you need permission to open new tab to prevent uh, click open here so it goes to the classic you know they don't have uh, lighting page for that so custom fiscal year click new on custom fiscal year so so this is how you define if you have four four five each quarter period as four weeks period ha two has four weeks and period three has four weeks four four five four is a four um, each quarter period has four weeks period two has five weeks period three has four weeks you know uh, they are complex you know um uh, so if you go this way or 13 period per year four weeks per period first one is a, there's a template types four quarters per year 13 weeks per quarter so or also you can use um, four four five or four five four five four 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 five as i said earlier each quarter period has one four weeks period four week period two has four weeks period three has five weeks so if you choose this option it has four period 13 period per year four weeks Per period you know uh, so that's how you define here so, so this is a Gregorian calendar you want you can use a Gregorian calendar for that let's select 3343 three. quarter 1 has 3 periods quarter 2 has 2 periods quarter 3 has 4 periods quarter 4 has 3 periods test Week 
starts week start this Saturday. you have advanced customization here you can define ticket fiscal year structure here back to the so you can each week can uh, can be customizable here you know you can do that um, you do when you implement a sales force for for enterprise so as you can see the this thing you don't uh, do every single day. Uh, this once you are done, it's done. You you have to move on. You don't change the fiscal years, spec spe fiscal year specific to an organization. Yeah. So this is how you. Uh, this is a week, week sorry week one, and then you can very flexible and also complex. Uh, can be complex, you know. Um, the, it's it's up to you the way you define it you know you can select uh, here the week which week you are in and which quarter here so which period period has like four weeks here so right here you can see that so that's how you do that I'll click save here so I created a custom fiscal here Okay, good luck with your fiscal year settings.